Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our fifth set of examples of how to use the rules of operations. Notice that in this case we have everything. We have exponents, additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, and we even have rational expressions. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this. Again, the rule says that we want to work the parentheses from the inside out. We want to solve what's inside the parentheses first. We get 2 cubed divided by 6 minus 4 is 2 plus 4 times 6 minus, because before we can subtract, we have to do the exponent first. 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, which is 4. Now we can simplify what's here. This is 2 cubed divided by 2 plus 4 times 6 minus 4 is 2. Let's do this one now. 2 cubed, what does that mean? That is 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. We get 8 divided by, we don't need the parentheses now because we have that division symbol, 8 divided by 2 plus 4 times 2, which would be 8. 8 divided by 2, well that's 4, plus 8, and finally 4 plus 8, we can add it together and we get 12. So you can see that you want to do the order of operations first. Now I could have immediately attacked 2 cubed in the beginning, but I just wanted to do one thing at a time and it doesn't really matter. You can do it all at once, or you can do it one step at a time. Let's take a look at this one here. Again, I want to concentrate on what's inside the parentheses first, so we rewrite this as 4 squared minus 5 times 8 minus 5 is 3, and in the denominator I get 3 cubed, oh no, not 3 cubed, 3 squared minus 4 minus what's inside the parentheses, 8 minus 4, which is 4. Now let's do the exponents. 4 squared, that means 4 times 4, which is 16, minus 5 times 3, which is also, no, which is 15, divided by 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4, minus 4. We can remove the parentheses because we have a minus there. Now the numerator simplifies to 16 minus 15, which is 1, divided by 9 minus 4, well 9 minus 4, that is 5, and we still have a minus 4 there, and finally, we can simplify the denominator to 1 divided by 5 minus 4 is 1, and 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1, and that's the final answer there. So that's how we simplify, again, using the order of operations. Make sure we do the multiplication and division first, but if you have exponents, do the exponents first. If you have, if you have parentheses, then make sure you work the parentheses from the inside to the outside before you combine the parentheses with anything else. And that's how it's done.